<laughs> My name is Patrick Lehan. I'm 20 years old. I'm fighting out of SPG Cork City. My next fight is on Cage Warriors 110 on November 9th in Cork. So what's been going on since June? I've just been training like harder. I've uh, taken it more seriously really. I took a bit of a break. Um, new strength and conditioning coach, got a new dietitian. Everything's just kind of been taken up a level really, you know. I spent a lot of time, so I always, I started off in Taekwondo, so when I was very, very young, as every kid does, you know, you do a bit of Taekwondo or whatever. Um, I quit that, I went to boxing, and then my Taekwondo kind of stayed with me through that. Then I stopped boxing and started MMA, um, and they all just kind of tied together really, so I have, a, I have like good boxing, but I have a weird kind of Taekwondo kind of way of coming in and out, and it's just a, a different type of style, you know, so I don't know, it definitely is, is changing. I've focused a lot more on wrestling and grappling. I fought novice only a couple of weeks into my training in, in MMA, like three weeks after, after I started training, I had my first fight. And I just realized that boxing isn't enough. Like I just got t taken down um, and controlled for the, for, for the full fight. Like so I kind of learned that uh, I need to start grappling. That was probably the biggest thing, yeah. I fought welterweight and everything. When I, when I started off, when I went amateur, I fought Tyrone Quinn, who was a proper belt and he's, he was towering over me. Like uh, I fought him at welterweight. I fought my first amateur fight at welterweight, but I never actually weighed weighed that much. So I was always fighting kind of bigger lads or whatever. And I, I always seem I was it. I don't know. Tyrone Quinn fucked me up, like, but but I I wasn't like like too we I wasn't too weak or anything, you know. So I'm I felt Jack Jack Eck was he was strong, like, but he wasn't nothing I couldn't handle, you know. I got a bronze in the Euros, and then a bronze in the Worlds. And then that was 2018, and then 2019 I went to the Euros in Italy, and I fought Emil Piatek, the fellow I fought. We've had three fights now. Um, one of my like, yeah, he's probably definitely one of my all, all three fights are the hardest fights. You know, there are, I've, I've fought him a million times if I could, just because it's some, it's just it's so fun fighting him. Really, like he's just a tough bastard. So yeah, I went over. I lost him. Um, yeah, I can't. I couldn't afford to go. To the, I would have loved to go to the worlds, but I couldn't really afford it. And so I said, I'd just stay, stay in Ireland and get a lot of fights around. Take a bit of time off after Italy. Get better. Obviously, going up to Dublin every week and then get a few fights around Ireland. Go to England. I'm fighting in England in two weeks' time, and then go to the Euros and the Worlds next year. Um, at the start, I was kind of like, "What the fuck? What the fuck am I doing? Like, why am I not in school? Why am I spending all my time in a gym where I probably won't make any money?" Now I kind of I can see that there is like I can make a a living out of it. Obviously, anything could happen. I could go upstairs and 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 blow my knee out in two seconds and never fight again. But I mean, college. I I got a scholarship to go to college because of fighting. They kind of understand that I'm that I'm finding it hard to train full time and do college, so they're they're helping me out now. So I'm st I started the course again, so I'm getting an education and training, and hopefully making a living out of it. I had a few goals at the start of the year that I wanted to accomplish. Um, one of them was to get a cage legacy belt, which I did. Another one was to get a a gold at the IMAFs, which I didn't do unfortunately. Um, and another one was to get a belt in Cage Warriors, but I didn't get it. I was hoping to get a few fights in England in, cage, in the Cage Warriors over there, you know, but it didn't happen. Um, now I'm finally getting get my first fight in Cage Warriors, and hopefully early to mid next year I'll get a, a title shot on that show. How long has it been now since you've been travelling up and down then, um, on Sundays to train at SPG? So I started a few months ago I just started I, I I said that's where all the pros are like that's where you know some of the best fighters in, in the world are training up there so why not because I have an affiliation with SPG why not like make you know use of it and go up and train with some of the best so um, I told work I can't work Mondays or Tuesdays and Wednesdays anymore and I go up and sometimes when I can I stay in a hostel um, and just train up there yeah I'm back down. Usually it's a long day, like, but it's worth it. 
So I learn a lot up there from everyone. What's it like having such a um, choice of training partner, possible training partners who have such a wealth of experience between them? Well, that's it. Like they're all they're all so so experienced. Like they're some of the best in in Ireland and Europe, like in the world, really. Like Gunnar Nelson is absolutely insane. It's, it's crazy to be on the same mat training training with him. Like there's just a lot of people my weight up there as well. There's a lot of high. They're all they're all professionals up there. Like they all want to get better. They all want to. They all are striving to get better every single day, you know. Um, when I go up there, I'm I'm at the bottom of the food chain again, you know. Like I'm I'm getting beaten up up there, and I'm learning. I'm, it's like I'm a beginner again, you know. The amount of stuff I'm learning up there, you know. Yeah, Liam just kind of guided me. Like I always take his knowledge on board. Like whatever he says, I kind of do really. He obviously he did, he went through whatever I've gone through. Um, Ryan Splans kind of gone through already. So Liam Liam has already gone. You know, he's gone through all of that, so he knows what he's on about, so I just trust him and take his advice. All our amateur team really like Fufu Faraz, he is an absolute animal, the baby monster, Avenue's younger brother. They're two crazy cunts, like they just slap the head off each other every day of the week. Um so I can't wait for him him to, to go amateur as well, which is not for another year or two. But yeah. Well, you were in the same Yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait for them to, because I know what they can do. I know how good they all are. So I just can't wait for them to show everyone what they can do, you know? So if you're on early in the night then, are you going to stick around and watch the later Oh, bike? definitely, 100%. I can't yeah, wait. Obviously, all the Cork lads, like, I've, I've, you know, I've trained with a lot of them. Um, obviously, I, I just want to see everyone in Cork doing very well. I want MMA to be, to be a big deal in Cork. So hopefully, um, Jack McGuire and John Mitchell do very well. Um, Ian Gary, I'm excited to see him fight. He's, you know, he's, he's. It's cool seeing him doing so well in pro. Like I, I was, you know, fighting on the same cards as him only, only a couple of months ago, so or a year ago or whatever. So it's cool to see him doing well. Hopefully he he wins as well. And yeah.